Hey, what's up everybody? It's TJ with Sanctified Homes and today we are talking exterior insulation and I'm gonna make the case for why you should wrap your home in exterior insulation of some kind, right? So if you watch our channel, we've talked a bunch about thermal bridging, why you wanna do this to stop the cold spots where you're framing studs two by sixes in Wisconsin anyway we have to use um, and make sure you have a more comfortable home and you're not spending a bunch of money heating the outside when you don't need to. So how we do that and how I recommend is an exterior blanket, right, of insulation. So that's gonna get wrapped around this entire house. I'm sure we have some pictures popping up right now just kind of showing what that's looking like as we're putting this on. The reason for that, I want you to think about when you are gonna go outside in the winter, if you have a long sleeve shirt or a t-shirt on, right, you're not just taking clothing and trying to like stuff it up and put it in here in between your shirt. You're gonna take a big jacket that has a lot of insulation in it and wrap it around your entire body. You're not just gonna take stuff and like put it between your rib cages and stuff like that. Well, insulation in the grand scheme of thing a building in the United States is relatively new. Um, and what we're doing is we're putting it between our framing members, right? So we have two by sixes on the other side of this wall and that will get a blanket of insulation in it. Wisconsin code right now is R19, which you know if you follow us, I think is way too low. Um, but even if we had to do a higher, like a dense pack, which we do on ours, or if you're gonna do something different, it's not enough when you take into account the thermal bridging that happens, but just the comfortability of your house. You're gonna spend way less money heating and cooling it with this exterior insulation. So with that said, there's all kinds of sizes of it. This is, um, we like the Halo X Terra insulation. It's a GPS foam. There's a whole bunch of information on why I like the graphite foam better. Um, but this is an R8 value for insulation, right? So that is adding that around the entire house. And if you want to dig back in our videos, I talk about like the actual effective value of insulation in your wall when your builder says we're doing an R19 wall. It's not really R19 because you have two by four studs, you have window openings like that. Um, it's actually pretty small when you start to look at that stuff. So. Another case and reason for it is this is code in a lot of the country. So the 2023 International Building Code, they are actually calling out and we, we put the chart in another video, but if you're in a cold climate, which we are, you have to have so much exterior insulation based on how much interior you're gonna put in. Okay, so if you're gonna do an R19 wall, you have to put so much exterior insulation in most other parts of the country and especially in cold climates. Obviously somewhere like Texas, stuff like that, they don't have to put as much on the outside, but they're still recommending it because they have heat, right? So they're gonna do something like this with the foil face to reflect that radiant heat, okay? So in Wisconsin, um, you can get away with no interior insulation, but then you would have to have an R20 it's an R20 or 25, I don't remember off the top of my head, on the outside. So there's, there's this grading chart in there. This is all stuff that is coming because we're proving out through science that this stuff is working. It's building better homes and more durable homes. Now, how you put it together, how we air seal it, there's all kinds of other stuff, but this is just why you should have this. And the easiest one for me always was, if you're gonna go out in the middle of winter, you're not gonna stuff a bunch of t-shirts under your main shirt. That's what we do when we're insulating inside walls. You're gonna put that big comfy jacket on like this, close it up so there's nowhere for air to infiltrate. And in all honesty, if you're a hunter, or even if you're not, think about it when it's freezing cold out, they have these like big marshmallow suits. What do they call them for little kids? They're like uh, onesies, right? For hunters, that's all camo. They can get in with their boots, they zip it all up, they have a hood around their head and all you see is their face and it's like this. That's what they're doing. This is what we're doing to your house. So again, if you have questions about it, my thoughts on it, um, I should be able to have the link to some of that information about the 2023 uh, code. I know we've put the chart up before or below the video somewhere, but reach out, make sure you guys are asking, make sure you're hitting like, subscribe and share. This is our Bushel Hill Haven project. Make sure you guys are going to our page and following that. You can get notifications as we're building specifically how we're doing it with this project, how we're doing the window detail, the flashing detail, all of that stuff. So if you're thinking about building, if you're a builder, make sure you like, subscribe, share. And in the meantime, don't forget to raise your standard. We'll talk to you guys soon.